The one GIS process that can be really helpful when you're trying to evaluate a sediment transport model is to difference two digital elevation models. And of course, you can go do that in some sort of GIS software. But these days, I'm trying to do as much of my GIS right in RAS Mapper as possible. And so if you can do it, I want to. And you can. And so I'm going to show you how to difference two terrains in RAS to come up with your elevation difference map that you can use to evaluate your two-dimensional model. And so in this case, we have a gravel mining pit. We have a terrain with the gravel mining pit stamped into it. And then um, we have a post where we have a head cut um, upstream of the pit and the pit has filled with some sediment. And so what we wanna do, um, you know, you can see my mesh here, I'm building a 2D model of this system. Um, and what I wanna do is I wanna difference those terrains. And this is the standard color that we use in RAS is blue is deposition and red is erosion in order to evaluate the output of my two-dimensional model. And so you can see here we've got deposition in the mining pit and then you it, it, that's blue and then red shows you kind of where the head cut is. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that with what we call the raster calculator. And so to use the raster calculator, you go up to tools and it's not actually called the raster calculator in tools, it's called create calculated layer. Um, and so you'll go up there and select that. And then you can add all sorts of layers in here. You can do all sorts of cool math. This is a little bit like the rules editor. It's really powerful, but it's also a little intimidating. Um, but the cool thing about the trains is that they're already here. And so you can come in here and you can click on your trains. What you'll see is that now we have these trains kind of as variables in here. And the first question is, you know, if the train has no data, well then you don't, you don't want anything to happen in your output. But if it does, you want to do some math. That's what this if, if else statement says. And so we actually want to check and make sure that both of our trains have data. So we're just going to copy this. And we're going to say and also. So that if 2009 pre is no data and also 2010 post are no data, then the output is no data, we won't do anything, but otherwise we'll do something, we'll add some math here. Now, the first question is, how did I know to put and also in there? You know, this isn't like the rules, we don't actually have buttons that kind of guide you in all of the logic, but if you go to this question mark, the question mark actually has all of the math functions and will walk you through and show you sample code. And so there's just a lot of really cool tools here um, that will help you kind of figure out, yes, we are writing script, but it's actually pretty simple. But here we go. We say, if the 2009 pre is no data and also the 2000 post is no data. So if either of those are true, then the output's no data. Otherwise, we want the output to just be the 2010 post minus the 2009 pre. And what are we gonna call that output? Well, we'll call that um, deposition demo. And now I'm going to create my layer. And the layer gets dropped right there. It's going to do the math a little bit. And then here's our deposition demo. Now, we bring it in in this really lame grayscale because we actually don't know what you just differenced. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to come in here and we're going to change it to the standard deposition option or the standard bed change option. And so the standard bed change option is this blue to red. And we'll say, instead of going from zero to 100, we'll make it plus or minus 15. So max is 15, min is negative 15. We'll create our color ramps. And you see how, because it's symmetrical, zero is white and you know, deposition is blue and erosion is red. Um, this is also how we output our standard uh, 2D sediment results. And now you can see that we actually have a difference map. We have a map that shows you know, the regions of deposition and then the head cut or the regions of erosion. One of the cool things that just happened is that actually got saved. If you go to tools, create calculated layer or what we call the raster calculator, um, you can now say load ra raster calculation script. And the thing that you just made is there. And so you can load that. And if you want, you can actually save it. My name is Sanford Gibson. I am the sediment transport specialist at the HEC RAS team, and this video was funded by the H Agency SET program.